Berlin has been scorching today. A modern city of culture. Tonight it plays host to a Champions League final full of true pedigree. Barcelona and Juventus are standard bearers for football of style and strength. Two teams of rhythm, exuberance and sheer intensity. Barcelona were first crowned European champions in 1992, the last year of the old European Cup. Tonight they're attempting to win the Champions League for a fourth time in nine years. They're a club that sets the bar very high. What do you think he meant by the way that you went about your Champions League finals against Barcelona, those two matches? Yeah, I think in 09 and 11 we, we tried to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Barcelona. We, we thought we could beat them at their home game really and you know, we got found out we, we wasn't good enough to do that other than a, a, probably a 10 minute spell in the Rome game. Bayern Munich have it all to do against Barcelona tonight. Not only is there Lionel Messi to contend with, they're facing what some people claim is the greatest attacking trio ever assembled in club football. One down last year, they're three down this time. Does that have to alter the mindset, do you think, Lee? Because, you know, they've got such a big mountain ahead of them. Well, sometimes, I think sometimes, you know, you look at the game when you're 3-0 down, you, you pressure's off you a little bit. Good evening, Jerome Boateng will still be having nightmares about Lionel Messi's second goal at the Nou Camp last Wednesday, which helped give Barcelona a 3-0 advantage over Bayern Munich heading into tonight's semi-final second leg. Bayern did beat Barca 4-0 in Munich at this stage two years ago, but with Messi, Suarez and Neymar in irresistible form, the Catalans look to be firm favourites to finish the job here at the Allianz Arena. Your commentators Andy Townsend and first Clive Tilts. May I respectfully suggest that it might be very important whether they play Real Madrid. It'll be a first ever El Clasico final. Are Juve going to park the Fiat tomorrow night, are they? I would have thought that they've got something to hold on to, so they might play a, a defensive, well, they will play a defensive game, no doubt about that. You had a lot to say about Gareth Bale last week. It, when he gets the ball tomorrow night, what do you want to see him do with it? Well, it's just to be nice and brave. There's, there's no doubt on his talent. We've seen it before. We've seen him doing it last year in the big, big games. And um, you know, if Gareth's had it tomorrow night, then they've got a chance. That's if he turns up. But you want to see Bale take on his fullback because we were very close to him last week, weren't we? And, and he spent half an hour, to be honest, crossing the ball into the middle of the penalty area where the Juve defenders headed it away. Yeah, we, we just want to see him more positive. We know the, the talent he's got, the pace and power that, that he possesses. And if Real do that as a team, do you expect them to get through tomorrow night? Yeah, I think it would be difficult. Juventus are a, a good side, we all know that. Um, but you'd have to expect Real Madrid at home. They only need to win 1-0. Um, how special think, would that be? An El Clasico final, how special would that be? Oh, it would be fantastic. I think, um, obviously, we keep saying there's a bit of hard work to be done yet, but I think that's what more supporters, particularly the neutrals, would love to see. I think all the neutrals will want to yeah. see that game, but the old defenders around, me included, I think Juve have still got a heck of a chance to get there. Don't forget there's an art to defending. <laughs> that's what yeah. Mr Dixon wants you to believe. Thank you very much, gents. It's been a privilege to be here this evening. So as we say goodbye to from the Allianz in Munich, we will see Barcelona in Berlin next month, their fourth Champions League final in 10 years. Thanks for watching. Very good night.